Okay, hey guys. Um, so I've been having terrible microphone problems with my GoPro. I'm using a GoPro because that's the only camera I have. You know, I might put in like a clip of what was it happening. I'm Alex and welcome to my channel. It was horrible. So I'm playing Secret of the Old Clock and I already started it. And I'm not going to start it over again because it would be like the third or fourth time that I'm starting it over again. Basically, to get you up to speed to where I'm at, I drove up in my little blue roadster as Nancy Drew. It's based on the first book in the Nancy Drew book series. Anyway, I talked to um, Shane Willoughby, who uh, is Emily Crandall's guardian, uh, because Emily Crandall, who's a friend of a friend, her mother died and left her an inn, and so Jane and Emily are trying to run the inn together. The stove blew up. Blew up, their kitchen's done, they can't make pies anymore, which is like a big source of their income. Josiah Crowley was supposed to give money to Emily Crandall and her mother when he died, and he didn't. Anyway, I'm going to visit Richard Topham because apparently he got all of Josiah Crowley's money. So I'm kind of like investigating that already. It's already like sus. Let's uh, get started. The YouTube game, that's the one that I'm playing. We're going to load it. Okay. So I'm at Topham's house, and what I was going to do is I was just going to, like, explore Topham's house um, before I do his little puzzle thing that he gave me so that I can talk to him. Um, but I'm not allowed to talk to him yet. Uh, good, Yuri still has her, his, I don't know, um, little cat, no, toy, or his little cat toy. Uh, so this is Topham's clock. And my decaf coffee because it's, like, 6.30 at night. I love having coffee at night. It's like a sweet dessert. Oh, I also had dessert because my mom, she made this like cookie cake pie. And usually I'm not a fan of that, like from the store, but it's just like a huge chocolate chip cookie. And it's so good. Yeah, she's really good at baking. Um, so yeah, so this is Topham's clock because it's the secret of the old clock. So literally this guy just now probably gave everybody like a shit ton of clocks. Um, I already did one puzzle. Um, once again, hard here. It's really bad. Oh, you might just only see like a clip of that puzzle, but I got a mirror, like one mirror. Hold on, where is it? Here it is. I have a mirror. Um, I also found this on my walk to Topham's, which is a receipt for a key. I don't know why it's important. Nobody would hold on to that kind of trash, but Nancy does. All right. Uh, so let's see. It used to be Josiah Crowley's house, but he passed away. All right, let's see what's going on with this clock then, shall we? A puzzle right off the bat, love a blue puzzle. Okay. So this is like just your basic matching puzzle. Uh, God, I haven't been paying close enough attention to be talking. Ooh, I got that one. Ooh, got that one. No, it was the wrong gear. This gear, yeah. Come on, let me click it. Uh, that guy was down there. That one's down here. That one's no. No. Where is it? I just it was around there. It is. Okay. Nope, I knew that. Okay. Oh, I saw the hat somewhere else. I don't remember where though. Oh, that butterfly. God damn it. Ooh. No, that was the cheese. Here it is. Cheeses. Okay. The bell. I'm usually much better at these, but I'm trying to impress people, and it's obviously not super impressive. Done and done. Our Ooh. Yes! I'm just gonna take his stuff and not tell him. Like, I'm just gonna open his clock and not tell him I opened his clock and then take the stuff that's in the clock. Uh, good detective work, Miss Drew. Um, shit, let's just protect my face. It's fine. I'm only staying inside. Mm. What's this bad boy do? So, so sorry. Okay. Cool, you just, I, don't know, I guess, pull his trunk. Lest I forget. Now, since Nancy is reading this, we know it's going to be important. Um, sorry, I just bumped the piano penny that I have my setup on so I can sit on the floor because that's where I like to spend my time. Moving on, okay. So, yeah, these, I guess, are important. Um, carriage house. We got to find the carriage house. Callie Roadster. Nancy. Roadster. Um, okay. Um, 
don't know what that means yet, but look, so this is Topham's intelligence test, which we should honestly take right now. So I told a story before, you know, the, the bad audio. And basically the first time I played this game, I got this test and I could figure out all the other puzzles. It's like a whole booklet of puzzles that you have to do, like these weird word puzzle things. And this one I just like couldn't get. I was like, I don't understand it. I don't know what this is. Like what the what the hell? Like I don't I don't understand this. Take into account I was like 14, okay? So I wasn't as old as I am now, which is um but anyway, I went to bed after playing this game and then I had a dream that it was all wet and I woke up and I was like, I know the answer to the puzzle and then like I immediately played the game for twelve hours straight. Okay, so anyway, the answer is all wet. What's really great about this game is it gives you all of these answers in the game, like throughout it, if you like talk to enough people and deliver enough telegrams, but we're not gonna do that because we're just here to have a good time. I've played this game before and I'm not trying to walk you through it. Um, I'm just here to play. You are smart, Nancy. I wanna talk to Topham. Um, I want to talk to him about his bullshit, which in case you didn't know is a lot because he's like a 1930s mentalist. You know, he's having people waste their money during a depression on telekinesis. Not cool, man. Not cool. I think that was all of them. Perfect. Okay, any more pages in this that I need to know? Mmm. There's a tunnel. What's really cool is that later on in the series, Kerr actually makes a game based on Nikola Tesla and like his life and like Tesla clothes and stuff. It's called The Deadly Device. It's not great, but like, you know, it's an answer to your game, so it's worth a play. Okay. Oh, wait, what is this? Uh, to open the big clock. That's what it says because the screen recorder on my laptop covers up some of the screen. It's honestly like the biggest crock, but what I have to work with because I am cheap because I don't know how long I'll be doing this. Okay. Um, do Flute Bisbee and Pyramus their clues bottom? Okay, so obviously I'm gonna... There we go. Okay, so Nancy picked that out loud. You know it's important. Um, ooh, the golf course. That's right. There's a golf course on the property. It's like this inn and this old guy's house that now a mentalist works out of and there is a mini golf course on the so we might go play some mini golf in a little bit, but we might deliver telegrams first. Who knows? Trivet! That's right, I need to find the trivet because it's a coder. Okay. But we will figure it out. Okay. Alright, you dumbass. Alright. Is there anything else that I can click on? Bum, 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 bum. Putting physics mind works. William Crooks. Crooks radiometer. I don't read any of this. Oh, pea brain. I mean, that doesn't actually make any physical sense, but. Sure, Josiah. Do we want to talk to Tampum yet? <sighs> Try spam. Rude. What's one of these bad boys? Okay. So this is a carousel horse from the Haunted Carousel, which is a game that takes place in um, New Jersey, which is where I'm from. Currently I'm residing with my parents, um, but I'm supposed to be moving to Virginia really soon, which I'm excited about. I actually have an apartment there already, but I can't move yet because of the coronavirus. And luckily my job lets me work from home. So yeah that's really nice it's nice to still be with my family even though i'm paying rent on a place that i live with it's great yeah all right uh god he's so annoying 
you know, he's just so annoying. Why not just play puzzles? Why not just do puzzles or play some mini golf or do anything else that's more fun than talking to Richard Topham? Okay, so I think that this is the carriage house. Oh, we have to go play that game so that we can answer one of the questions because one of the things was like one of the passwords uh, is what you get when you win Bard Bounce. So let's go win some Bard Bounce and we'll get that word. Uh, it, I know what the word is already, but like it's a fun game nonetheless. It's based on a min Midsummer Night's Dream by uh, Shakespeare, the play. Great play. Um, I never studied it in school, but I did get the chance to go see it with my book club in high school uh, in Philadelphia. Really fantastic performance in a small black box theater. Just a really, it made me fall like in love with theater, even though I'm not like a theater kid. I just, I like the whole, all of it. I'm not like dramatic or anything, but I just think it's great. This is Fire Grounds, by the way. Um, a game based on a Midsummer Night's Dream, as it says, by a play by William Shakespeare. Oh, W.M. Shakespeare. Okay, you should have just said Shakespeare at that point. Do Shakespeare proud by using the cover. Move each man to the woman with whom he belongs. Remember, love is never easy. Whenever you move someone, he will keep going until he hits an obstacle. Another character, and went, okay, five cents. Hmm, I only have three dollars and forty cents left. I'm gonna need to make some funnies. Okay, so I think I have to do yellow, no, blue first. Yeah, just like this. And then yellow. No. I didn't want to stop recording. Okay. There we go. All right. And then I have to do red. Please work, please work. There we go. Bet. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. I did it. Keen. All right. So that's the answer. Cause like as you saw, I think it's four, four letters. It's <coughs> hilarious. I don't have, oh, I don't have the stickers. So I just choked on my ass bit. As one does. Mm. I need another cup of coffee. And probably another cookie. Um, so yeah, we're going to go put Keen in, um, we're going to go for a drive, um, yeah, we're going to go, come on, Nance, you're not going where I want you to, okay, we're going to go put Keen in, and then we're going to go for a drive, there's my roadster, we didn't need to do that game occurring yet, um, it's paused, but I don't have to worry about the paused computer. Look, it's so cute. I like literally feel like I'm jabbing the road stand. Wonder if it's coffee flies. Okay, so I drive with a mouse. And you want to avoid potholes. And then we'll go here. Hello, are you Mr. Waddell? So what if I am? I found this receipt. I just wondered what you could tell me about it. Let me see that. I haven't even met this man yet, and I'm already learning so much about him. Um, we do get to meet him, though. I'm um, probably going to go see him next and then deliver a telegram. Yeah. Look at me planning out my fake day in a game instead of living my real life because everybody's lives are on hold for the time being. Okay. Uh, bank. Come on, park. There we go. Perfect. Here he is, the man himself. We don't like him at all. Are you Nancy Drew? It sounds like Emily calls you. Yes, ma'am. Jim Archer. I'm founder, president, manager, and just about everything else you can name when it comes to this fine enterprise. I hear that some you don't say so it's not like you're in the middle of a depression, the greatest depression we've yet to see until maybe now, but probably not even now. Some people say we're headed for a depression. 
know, that kind of pessimism is... Hindsight's 2020. Thinking ahead. Taking action. That's what we businessmen should be doing right now. And You're a businessman. You don't look like a businessman. Excuse me. Main Street Bank, Jim Archer speaking. Cool. That was a little weird. They're annoying. Yes, I know. All right, then just bring I have this by. dry patch of skin on my chin that won't go away. Sorry for the interruption. How can I help you? He looked upset. Do you happen to know whether the jewelry Emily inherited from her mother was insured? I know for a fact that it was not. Why? Because someone snuck into the inn today and stole it. Oh, no. I heard there had been a fire in the kitchen, but... When it rains, it pours, doesn't it? I, I got a message. Oh, did she let it last? For my good she friend, my old co-worker. Like her so much, I miss her. Slave! So if you know, you know. Maybe I'll wear that shirt and then I'm going to get my hashtag Team Slave shirt. So will you go to Josiah's house? Is it possible that Josiah didn't really write it? The thought that it could be a forgery did cross my mind. But an expert verified that the will had been typed on Josiah's typewriter and signed in Josiah's hand. Damn. And y'all had the best forensics at the time in the 1930s, didn't you? But Richard Topham lived in Josiah's house. He had access to his typewriter. I'm going to do a video where I put on fake nails. That's going to be so fun. Um, I have like a pack from the drugstore and I would never do nails because like if you look... Um, ugh, low focus. Oh god, this lady. Like, my nails are so ugly. This one, especially. I, like, bite them horribly. Like, horribly. Because I'm anxious all the time. Not all the time, but, you know, like, out of anxiety by my nails. It's just always been that way. I've always wanted long, pretty nails. But I'm afraid of going to a nail salon because of the anxiety. And so, I'm just gonna do it myself. And see how it turns out. Because everybody loves those kinds of videos. If Tom can't find the key, Maybe it's because it wasn't in Josiah's house. I wonder yeah, where it was. True. I wouldn't go jumping to any conclusions. How did Josiah die? Was he, he killed? No, apparently not. What was he reading? Why would he know? Oh, but he does. It makes me want to read that book, though. Doesn't it? I've never heard of it before this, but it makes me want to read it. I guess I'll be going. Give my best to Emily. Who's Clara? Clara Pickford is this lonely old woman who comes in here every once in a while. She took a shy to me for some reason. Insisted on giving me that picture. Where did you get this time? I guess we can stop. It to me. It stopped keeping time the minute he walked out the door. Don't you ever use this typewriter? That used to be Josiah Crowley. It was the only thing he left me in his will. Naturally, it doesn't work. The key weird. What a weird thing to leave somebody. October 9, 1920. <gasps> Dear it's the letter. Sheldon, here is the trivet I said you could borrow. I don't even know how like, typewriters work, so I don't know why this is a thing. But apparently it is. Please take care of it because I will want it back someday. I guess I should check it out. Maybe I should have just played on Junior so that I could have a checklist. But because I'm a senior detective, I don't need a checklist, apparently. Oh, I got the key! Alright, let's open this clock then. I can't stop playing this game. Can I just, like, use the key? I guess I can't. Maybe I'll ask. I should have been paying more attention. I have like one sip of coffee left, so. Wow, I just want to finish this. I'm not, I'm not like making videos. I just know it's gonna be long. Honestly, that's where I'm coming from. I just know it's gonna be long. Oh shit, I did. Here. 
I'm terrible at dancing. All right, well, let's fuss with this clock and see what we get. Oh. Okay, no, I'm not gonna do that <laughs> right now. Thank you very much. Uh, go deliver a telegram. So I'm just gonna drive back to the inn. can't drive down that path um and i'm just gonna stop the game there so um thank you for playing with me uh, i appreciate your time and your energy um yeah okay oh, it all for this one. Okay. so yeah i'm alex and this is like what i do uh, in my free time now that I spend all my free time at home. So yeah, come back uh, for another installment of Secret of the Old Clock and me talking about the game that I'm playing because I don't have anything interesting going on and I'll probably drink some more coffee and eat a cookie maybe on camera this time. Fun! Riveting! I know. All right. Bye. Okay, so I'm literally testing the audio on this because it's it's like full on silent in this room, and yet it still keeps picking up on this like weird noise that for some reason is louder than um, me. So, and I hate it. Um, and otherwise, like I just recorded a shit ton of videos and nothing's happening and it sucks.